Does your website need more traffic? Well, visit overflowcafe.com today. They make websites popular and over 41,000 people use their service to gain more customers. They are winning our business. What about you? Visit overflowcafe.com today. Welcome to Rockefeller's Barbershop. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will be blessed and be glad in Him. Today I want to introduce myself. My name is Rico Rodriguez at Rockefeller's Barbershop here in San Antonio, Texas, 1733 Babcock Road. My phone number is 210-782-5188. Come out and get your haircut here at Rockefeller's Barbershop. You are listening to I Am Refocused Podcast on iHeartRadio. You are listening to I Am Refocus Podcast Special Edition with your host, Shamaya Reed. This podcast is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. Now, let's tune in into today's podcast. This is I Am Refocus, and we are back again. I Heart Radio, Austin, Texas, South by Southwest, at the Keelum Experience. I got my boy Drake Coop. What's up? What up? Tell us who we got today, right Man, now. Man, listen, right now, today we have the look. I was getting ready to just call them Jake. We got the turn. <laughs> we got the turn up, bro. Turn up, What's bro? going on? What's on? on? Fire. We got JT and X with a C. What's up, A-C-T-C. guys? A C T C. I had to spell it out. <laughs> That's all good. good. Hey, I don't know what's happening, man. What's going on? What's going on? on? Man, how y'all feeling, bro? Man, bless, man. It was a great opportunity to come down here, man. We couldn't miss it. Where y'all coming from? We coming from Cali. 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 Yes, sir. Woo! First time in Austin? Uh, first time in Austin. Oh, oh man. man. And you got the interview on the day one. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, That's not bad. So y'all been around the city yet? Y'all checked anything out? Man, we just barely got here like maybe like 3 o'clock. So we, was, oh, we, y'all we really checked bad. in and we came straight down here, man. Oh, man. That's what's up. Y'all are go, y'all going to enjoy Austin, Texas. Yes, first sir. Of all. Yes, sir. Tell us about your music, man. Tell us yeah. what's new. What's going on? Yeah, um, man, we started in uh, 2015. Uh, we just released our first album last year, last summer of last year. Uh, currently working on some more projects to get out. Uh, man, we just love doing music, man, promoting positivity, you know what I'm saying, for healthy communities and all kinds of things like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, how do y'all meet? Uh, we're brothers. We were born, we were born together. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, y'all, y'all okay. brothers. We were yeah. born together. Oh, so everybody, because everybody that bro is just, yeah. it's down here in Texas, everybody I bro. Yeah, yeah. So you my bro. Right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't know that, but you my bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah now Texas, I'm with that. You I'm say bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how long have you guys been doing this? Man. Like officially? Yeah. Yeah. Well, officially, we did. We, me and him started the group in 2015. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also had another group with our other brother, our older brother named Anthony. He, we called the group Image of the Invincible. We were still like kind of like getting our feet wet. Yeah. And um, my brother, my older brother went to producing, and then we just kept on producing our stuff and, and writing our own music. And just it just happened. It just happened out of nowhere. Man. So y'all produce too, y'all, y'all yes, produce the tracks, y'all rap, yes, produce sir. rap, saying uh, everything you hear on the album pretty much come from us. We just get it uh, mastered. So, to go real quick, because I know we usually do this at the end, but tell them where they can find your music. Man, it's everywhere. Uh, just type in Turn Up Bros, T-U-R-N. B R O Z. Oh my bad. Look at me. Look at me over here messing my own name up. <laughs> turn up, bros. What is he? Um, everything on social media is turn up, bros. Uh, we on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, uh, Amazon, Title. We on everything, man. Right? Literally everything. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Yeah. 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 You Check us out on our right website, there. turnupbros.org. Man, so. What, what one of your songs. What song means the most to you? Man, <laughs> so many. The whole album. Like I can't pick a song. The entire album has a meaning. Like it tells a story of, of just us having fun, loving God. Um, a, a couple of testimonies in some some of our songs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but most of, but most of all, it just kind of get that Cali feel. Like it brings back that that West Coast feel that was missing for a long time. And you don't really you don't really got the West Coast feeling in the uh, see. H industry, you know what I'm saying? I'll say this. Uh, guaranteed there's a song for everybody on the album. 
So you're going to find something you like. Yeah, usually I'll get by on this, but ain't nobody told me what their favorite song is. What turn it? I'm going to have to say up? my favorite song is Lit. <laughs> lit. Right. L-I-T. That's, that's the song right there, man. I'll have to go with Fill Me Up. That's that's probably my favorite song right now. Yeah, yeah. Fill See? Me Up. Fill Me Up is up there, man. Fill Me <laughs> Yeah. This might not be a good idea. You might hate me for this, but can one of y'all do a freestyle real quick? A freestyle? I won't do a freestyle, but I'll do a written. All right, do that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let me see. Hold on, let me think real quick, because now y'all got me on the spot. Look at it. Yeah, because she was out. Go ahead, JT. Go, go, go oh, ahead. You just ready. I got one. All right, never turn down. We lit. Uh, squad max out. We legit. Uh, whole team been winning. But I'm way up. Had the juice from beginning. Like, yeah. West Side Cali, we the realest. Waiting on the beat to drop like Carter Six. Uh, huh. One time like the Fugees. On my lower hill again, pushing little Uzis. Duke Nukem, time to kill these little doozies. Put them in the coffin, make them disappear. Who Houdini. They try to shut the bros down, but we ain't with it. It ain't Halloween, but the ghost in my lyrics. Catch me in the spirit, getting higher than a Learjet. And I'm covered by the blood, homie Dipset. <laughs> Haters run around like they own something, but I'm in the back two stepping while the beat bumping. Yeah. <laughs> JT, let me see you. That was X, by the way. I know y'all can't tell the voice. What you got, man? Show, sure, man. He might bust out a song and start singing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sing something, man. Sing something. Go sing something. Sing something. Oh, man. What you want me to sing? Your favorite. Something. He about, he about to sing a solo. <laughs> <laughs> we only need a bar, man. All we need is Just a bar. bar. Just one bar. Just one bar. On the spot, look at you, check you out, bro. Just give man, them, I don't even know what song. Give them just lit, bro. Just give them just, lit. Just a little tease, man. Just a little tease. Just a little tease? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I don't even know what to do, man. Just do lit, bro. Do your thing. Just do lit. Just do lit. Man, I mean, I know y'all got a lot of stuff that y'all y'all go out and y'all minister. What, yeah. What's happening in the public? That you man, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, man, the public, man, um, we do whatever we can, really, man. Uh, we're not just limited to uh, one venue. I mean, we do high schools, colleges, we do churches, we do outside events, clubs, uh, lounges. We do pretty much anywhere there's a need, we, we'll go out there and we'll do it. And it doesn't have to necessarily be music either. I mean, we go out with outreach, you know, we'll go and just help people on the street, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's about just giving back, you know what I'm saying? And let people know that, that there's somebody out there who's looking out for them. But necessarily, more importantly, it's that uh, they're not forgotten, you know what I'm saying? Like, God has a purpose for everybody, and it's our job to let them know that, you know what I'm saying? How is the community out there in Cali, how, how has they react to your music? Guys? Man, honestly, bro, like, we had to, we had to dissect the youth out there because they're they're so into like the young thugs and they're so used to like Ray Shrummer and they're so used to like you know what I'm saying like yeah. like all the new rappers out there and like we still like on that like West Coast YG type stuff you know what I'm saying yeah. so we dissected what the industry was doing and we dissected what the youth was feet was what the youth was eating and we were like okay we're gonna mix this up but we're gonna do it to the way that God wants us to do it you know what I'm saying so like the youth wanna dance we gave them dance music but we put the word of God in our music you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, like, a, per- a little bit of our personal life, a little bit of testimony, but mostly the word of God. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't want to detour from that. So, although we Christian rappers and we doing the music for the for the love of it, we still got a, a minister that we have to attend to. And we still got to reach those lost souls because they're, 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 they're we're, we're held accountable for them now. You know what I'm saying? So, we, really, the youth is important to us because... You know, I got kids, so when I see my kids and they're dancing to all this stuff, I'm like, they could be dancing to my stuff. Yeah. And so I make music for them. You know what I'm saying? And it don't got to be them talking about this girl or be or they sleeping with blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It could be God is dope. And so are we. So let's go turn up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they can and they can listen to that. And you, you ain't, your mama, your daddy ain't got to worry about if you calling somebody a bee outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we're going to hear from JT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one more time with the question, real quick. Uh, what do you do in philanthropy? I mean, you told us that you help uh, people that are homeless and, and things of that nature. But what if you came across a kid who got bad skills, uh-huh. bad skills, and he really ain't signed with nobody yet? But he's he out there spending. You know, he's my baby. I'm making this money. Blah 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 blah. How do you minister to him? I mean, to be honest, man, it's. You, 
got to deal with everybody individually. Everybody's different in their own personal way. You can't come across everybody in the same. You just got to find where that person's at, you know, where his mind is at, his mentality, what his goals in life is. I mean, his goal in life could be he thinks that making a lot of money or have a lot of women is success. And you just got to show him, like, hey, look, like that's cool, whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the definition of success isn't based off of material possessions. It's based off of what you can accomplish for you, your family, you know what I'm saying? What's something that you can do that's going to leave you behind in a positive light, not stuff that's just, you know, flashy. Like, that's cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I would just talk to him and just see where his head is at, you know, just let him know, hey, man, and like, don't let what, you know, media and marketing and all these things, they show us this image of what success is, you know, get in your head because it's like, at the end of the day, you know, uh, the women's going to leave, you're going to run out of money, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that stuff's going to be gone and then you're not going to feel worth you're going to feel worthless. So if you don't have worth in yourself without having material possessions, then you don't have true worth, you feel me? All right, well, listen, we got to go. Uh, my name gonna get up out of here just real quick real quick shout outs to shout out shout outs man shout out to our manager Flo shout out to our manager Brandy um my, my girl, you know what I'm saying? I love my girl. I got to give her a shout out. Her name, her name. Zandre. I love that woman, yo. There you go. <laughs> man, all my supporters, man. Mom and Pops, everybody at home who's, yeah. who's supporting us out here. Man, we love everybody. All man. the IE, we love y'all. Appreciate y'all support carrying us everywhere. And uh, shout out to South by Southwest for having us, man. So we appreciate the uh, opportunity to come out and speak, man. Awesome, awesome. Well, you know what time is, guys. It is South by Southwest. Keep them experience in Austin, Texas. I got my boy, Drake Coop. That's right. I am Refocus Podcast. Check us out. I Heart Live Radio. I Heart Radio, boy. I say I Heart Live. I'm going. Look, I'll get everything twisted, man. I'm about, I'm about 60, 70 years old, so y'all don't worry about all that. But I Heart Radio, man, they're doing it live. But well, we will be right back, and you guys tune in because we ain't going nowhere. I Heart Radio, boy. Boy. One time.